Dr. Bob here again and uh, coming to you from my medical office and uh, yeah this is gonna be the next installment on my YouTube channel and I know I said I was gonna talk about chronic disease and kind of walk everybody through all of that and then move through my whole lecture series but the other thing I'm gonna use this channel for is is you know data that needs to be talked about or, or evidence that comes up periodically that I think is impactful enough that I ought to share it with you right now or when there's stuff going on that needs to be addressed like COVID-19. And I spent some time talking to you guys about COVID-19 kind of at the at the macroscopic level, at, you know, kind of the 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 organ dysfunction and all of that. But I want to talk to you about the molecular war that's going to go in, go on inside your body if you get this thing. And truthfully, there's a molecular war going on inside your body right now over everything. How fast you're developing heart disease. Are you glycating all of your enzyme structures with sugar? I mean, I just want people to understand that, you know, we are molecules. And those molecules come together to make up an amazing piece of machinery, a cell, the human cell in particular. And there's, and there's what, 10 trillion of them that work together to form the organism you. And those cells are made up of molecules that are structural and have functions and create this amazing machinery, create the energy that runs it. And they, that machinery requires specific molecules. And that's why the most impactful thing you can ever do for your health is control what you put in your face because that's where the molecules come from that create life. And it turns out the recipe for those necessary molecules was determined by our genetics through an evolutionary process that occurred over a long time. So the cliff note version of what molecules do you put in your body? Think about the ones you'd do 10,000 years ago. The paleo concept makes a tremendous amount of sense. I mean, basically, nuts and seeds, fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, and eggs. That's the macronutrient and micronutrient generating compounds that our cells learn how to work on. And when you put all kinds of molecules inside those cells that don't belong there, the things you don't understand when you read processed food, those molecules are getting in your body. They're in the way. They're not helping, that's for sure. Um, and the macronutrient composition and the vitamins and minerals that you're getting with those compounds you're putting in your body, um, they're not meeting the cell's needs to where it can function at the highest level. And if you've got this virus, you want your cells functioning at a level that recognize the virus, create antibodies, mount a proper immune response, and kill off this virus as fast as possible. So stuff's happening at this microscopic level. It, it, I'll explain to you a little bit about this virus. So it's a, it's a positive single-stranded RNA virus. It's basically messenger RNA in, in basically an envelope similar to a cell envelope because it's just stealing the lipid layer of our cells when it makes itself. And this messenger RNA has these proteins that are around the outside that are coded for by that messenger RNA. And those proteins recognize receptors on our host cells, like in our lungs, bind to that receptor, and that allows the virus particle to be internalized, where that messenger RNA, then using a protein that's already inside the viral particle, connects to your machinery that transcribes RNA, which is the genetic material that is turned into proteins, that then makes proteins that cause your cells to abandon their function and start to make little viruses. 
eventually also causing your cells to make more messenger RNA and then that pre-existing protein and the messenger RNA then it actually it makes proteins that help this um, entity now turn into another viral particle and bud off of the cell back out into your airway where you breathe it onto other people. Eventually it destroys the cell because it just it uses it up. And it's not surprising why we feel so run down when we get a viral illness because your cells function, the energy of your cells is going into making virus instead of taking care of your business. So that's what's going on down at the molecular level. And what you need to do to combat that is eat right, okay? So this is a great motivation to eat properly. And like I said yesterday in the longer version, fruits, a few servings, low glycemic preferably, lots of vegetables, healthy fats, avocados, olives or olive oil, cook with avocado oil, get some good quality protein, eat some nuts and seeds, eggs are nice, um, and then just, uh, you know, do the best you can to ride this thing out, but with all the nutrition that you can bring into your body. And don't forget taking the uh, big three supplements we talked about. Um, I have managed to get uh, Synagenics if you're interested in that probiotic. Uh, I've got a template, I can send it out to you and they're, they're given a discount on it um, with all that's going on. Just say you saw the video. Anyways, this was quick. I'm gonna try to leave coronavirus alone unless something new comes up. I will say one thing. Um, you know, I don't blame the government for not over publicizing how effective it appears that uh, that uh, uh, the um, hydroxychloroquine and the Zithromax appear to be. Um, they don't want to see a run on that like toilet paper. Um, they want people that need it to be able to get it. But I think it's pretty obvious that those are helpful. I think if I had a compromised patient, I would be trying to put them on that as soon as I was pretty sure they had COVID and they were compromised. Probably everybody that gets it and has a cold doesn't need it. But uh, I do think that that is probably a viable medical solution. Best we got right now as far as I can see. All right, good talking to you.